And we're getting new video of search and rescue operations in Kentucky, like this air rescue of an 83 year old woman trapped inside her home by the high waters. Today we learned Jacksonville Fire Rescue is sending a disaster response team and the state of Florida's urban search and rescue teams are on standby to help. News for Jackson reporter Vic Michelucci tells us a local woman's family has lost just about everything in this historic storm. She's gathering supplies to help them out. Florida needs somebody. This is Aunt Barb in her happy place about two years ago. Your Aunt Barb, what does she mean to you? You had to do that, didn't you? <laughs> she means the world to me. Other than my mom, who's my hero, uh, Aunt Barb is my second hero. Anytime I have something difficult in my life that I've needed to draw strength on, I draw it from my Aunt Barb. <laughs> The 73-year-old now devastated as floodwaters ripped through her home in Jackson, Kentucky. Take a look at some of the pictures from after the water went down. Her husband has MS, and she is in the fight for her life with stage 4 breast cancer. So we have these four bags of clothes. The positive news, she has a niece in Florida coming to the rescue. Meet Angel Shepherd. She's originally from the hard-hit area. I can't get this car loaded quick enough and get there. So I'll be leaving at five in the morning. I have so many amazing friends and family that have donated. She's gonna make that drive tomorrow morning after she loads up the SUV, heading from her Middleburg home all the way to Jackson, Kentucky. That is 522 miles. Shepard's asking for help. She still needs cleaning supplies, first aid kits, clothes, food, and funding to help not just her aunt and uncle, but their struggling neighbors as well. She would never come out and ask for any help. She is the most modest, humble person you will ever meet. Shepard started a GoFundMe and is calling on people in our area to help strangers who are struggling. If there's anyone out there that is willing to donate time, materials, willing to travel up uh, to help us get her back in her home as quickly as possible, it just would mean the world. She will never ask for help, so I'm here asking for her. Even the smallest gesture can make a big difference for Aunt Barb and others just like her. Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. If you'd like to help Angel Shepherd with supplies or donate to the GoFundMe, we posted the link and her email address inside this story on news4jacks.com.